friends welcome back today's video is going to be a thrift flip video where i take items that i have thrifted or found and upcycle them into more my style and for to sell in my retail booth i found this enamel bowl and i did not like the flowers on it and it is a little bit uh, worn out on the bottom so I decided to paint it black with the Waverly ink chalk paint. I was really surprised at how well this covered. It only took two coats. After the two coats had dried, I sealed it in with the Dixie Belle top coat, and then I really wasn't crazy about how shiny it looked, so I kind of hand sanded it down just a little bit after it had cured really well, and then I sprayed a couple coats of polycrylic on it. Once all the paint and the top coats had dried, I wanted to put one of the traditional pots transfers on it in white. The hardest part about these transfers is definitely cutting them out. It is so hard to see the white transfer on the white backing. But I finally got it cut out and then it was pretty easy to um, put on as long as you wait for your paint and your top coat to dry and cure completely you'll have no trouble putting transfers on top of something like this um, on the curved surface it's a little bit more tricky you just have to um, hold it in place as you're rubbing the transfer on I think this bowl turned out so cute it stayed in my basement kitchen kitchen and since it's still usable I didn't do anything to the inside we will be using it down there and hopefully it'll hold up for my next project it's super simple I found these three apothecary jars two of them are a little bit different than the third but I thought they all went really well together and I wanted to use the birds from the Whispering Willow transfer booklet. So I just put one bird on each jar. Transfers are very easy on glass. You better have it where you want it before you lay it on there because it's gonna go on. Turns out the last little jar was too small for a bird, so I put this cute little mushroom from the same transfer pack, and these apothecary jars are done. That is that simple, and look how cute they are. I did price them individually in my booth, so you don't have to get them all if there's just one you want, because they would go so cute in any decor in any bathroom. to our third project. I got these cute little gnomes at the Dollar 25 tree and I thought they were super precious as they are but just to give them a little bit more character and change them up and see how they sell in my booth I decided to paint them both with the celery chalk paint from Waverly. I only took a couple of coats to cover them and then I'm going to give them each just a little bit different treatment to see which one or either of them sell in my booth. You guessed it, for this one, I'm going to use the white wax. It not only seals the paint in, but it gives it so much depth and just really brings out all the detail in these cute little gnomes. All you do is wipe on the wax and then wipe it back on and it stays in all those crevices. For the second little gnome, I am going to be using a dark wax on the same paint color. I thought I'd see how it turned out. It does change the paint color completely, 
but I think this is my favorite of these little guys. He just turned out really great. I love this dark wax. I was a little scared when I first started putting it on, but in the end, I think he turned out great. Hopefully, these little guys will sell in my booth, and hopefully, I can get more of them at the Dollar Tree. Which do you guys like better, the white wax or the dark wax? Let me know in the comments below. I've been hanging on to these metal candlesticks for a while and this metal decorative bowl, all of which has the fake rust, which I am totally over. So I thought I would try to give these guys a makeover and see if they would sell. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull the little sticker thing out that holds the candles in. And I did have to um, grind those little things off. And then I decided to spray paint them since they have all these little details. So I spray painted them all white. After I spray painted them with white, I brought them back in and they sat in the basement for a couple weeks. And the more I looked at them, the more I decided I just thought they were too plain painted in white. So I hand painted all of them with just one coat of apothecary paint with a brush. I just thought that color was so much better and I sealed it all in with the white wax and these guys turned out pretty cute. I like the way they look in my booth, even if they don't sell, they're great for staging, sitting stuff in and on. Do y'all remember this cute little ceramic duck from last week's thrift haul? He needed a really good cleaning as do most thrifted items. So I got him all cleaned up and the inside of him was nice and black. So I gave the outside a couple of coats of white chalk paint. I couldn't tell you what color this is because I was down to not a lot of chalk paint in white. So I just mixed several together. I'm sure that one of them is um, Linen White by Rust-Oleum, and I think I put some chiffon cream in there. Then I think I had some white ceiling paint where I had been painting the basement walls. So like I said, this is just a bunch of white paint all mixed together um, until I got the color that I liked. I gave him a couple of coats of white chalk paint, and then I did a mixture of sandpaper and a wet rag to distress him like I wanted him. I did want him pretty heavily distressed. He had some pretty nice details on him to have that wood look to him. So I got him all distressed like I wanted it. And then I sealed him in with some top coat and I just think he is so cute just the way he is. He is a planter, so you put some greenery in there and he is just very farmhouse and very pretty. This old wooden window has been in my booth for quite a while. I have three of them and two of them sold immediately, but this one's just been hanging out and nobody bought it, so thought I'd bring it home and zhuzh it up a little bit. 
I'm going to paint it with the DIY Monet's Garden, my very favorite green. And it only took a couple coats and I didn't tape off. It's just really so much easier to just paint it all up and then scrape off the paint when you're finished and clean up your mirror or your glass or whatever. So I got this window frame all cleaned up and all painted and the paint all sealed in and I'm going to be putting this floral Parisianesis I think that's how you say it, but I'm pretty sure I butchered that all up. But it's really just a bunch of beautiful flowers, and I thought it gave the effect of like you're looking out your kitchen window at a beautiful garden. I really hope that this guy sells now. It is so beautiful. It's gotten lots of compliments, but nobody has bought it yet. Fingers crossed it doesn't stay long. I thrifted this pretty basic silver tray, and I'm going to um, fancy it up just a little bit and also there was a another silver plate the first thing you want to do always is get your tags off and clean it up I'm gonna give these both got both of these guys a couple of coats of Dixie Belle mint julep I love this paint and I love this color almost as much as apothecary um, it goes on really easy on this uh, shiny surface it just took a couple of coats and then I am going to seal it in with a top coat and on this little plate I am going to put the little sheep transfer I believe this is from the brocant booklet he fit in there just right and then on the larger one I'm just gonna use a bunch of scraps um, a lot of times when you're cutting these things, you end up with pieces of this here and pieces of that there. So I'm just going to try to use up a few of my scraps on this larger tray. Once I got the transfers on, I'm going to put a layer of white wax over both of these trays just to tone down the shininess of the top coat.
What do y'all think about these cute little trays? I think that they turned out so precious and so unique. Anyone would love to have these. For my last project today, I found this topiary at the thrift store. It was half off the $4.99, so $2.50. It was super dusty, so I took it out to the air hose and just sprayed all the dust off of it. That was just easier than doing each individual leaf. And then I cleaned it up, and I am going to use a mold from the Olive Crest mold just to give it a little character. We're gonna be using the little plaque here and a new thing of air dry clay. All you do, if you haven't ever used molds, you want to be sure and um, coat it with some cornstarch before you put your clay in. That just helps it release e easily. Then you just work your clay and the IOD molds have this micro rim that make it super easy to clean up the edges. So you just um, get it flat on the back and then it is usually very easy to turn out of your mold. These are easy to bend and shape and you just kind of fold it out. That's how I have learned um, the easiest way. Look at all the detail on that mold. So I am just going to now um, put it on the planter with some of the top bond glue. This has become my favorite glue. Um, it dries clear. I just really like how easy it comes out. It doesn't get all gooey at the top. It is a, a kind of an instant stick, so it doesn't slide around. It also washes off my fingers pretty easily. I actually kind of like how this white looks on this green, um, but I'm also doing a couple of planters to put some of my live plants in, and I kind of wanted them to match. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this with the um, Rethunk Junk Paint. It, this is the color powder. This is um, one of my favorite whites. Um, this is not a chalk paint, this is a resin paint. So it doesn't distress easily, but it goes on so nice and smooth, and it only took a couple of coats. Originally, I was going to number these one, two, three, but my typesetting numbers were too large um, for my mold, so, and I couldn't find the letterpress numbers. So instead, I decided to put transfers on these, and I got them from um, the booklet that you just saw. I forgot the name of it. I went back and looked. It's the entomology transfer book. It's got so many cute little critters and insects. So I put the frog on the little one. And then for my two larger pots, I put a butterfly and a insect or bee, I think it is. love how these turned out. I repotted a couple of my plants in the larger ones. These can all go together separately or together. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed today's thrift flips. And as always, I hope that y'all have a wonderful evening.